Hello guys, Adrian here from Mapsid. So uh, this video explains how to use uh, Django Material Kit, a super popular open source starter provided by us. The design is provided by Creative Team. The product was recently updated to use the latest uh, version of uh, Material UI Kit. And uh, the, the sources are published on, uh, on GitHub under the MIT license. You don't need an account on our on our platform in order to use it. Uh, of course, we provide also live demo uh, that comes with uh, authentication. You can see how the application works. So there are many pages, components. You have here uh, a few pages about us page, which looks super nice. A contact us page and also a user profile page. In case you like the design and decide to, to use the product, just access the GitHub repository and uh, follow the instructions provided by the readme file. Um, I will do that just to explain how to uh, download and start a project in your local environment um, and execute uh, after the download the Docker setup shipped with the sources. Um, just uh, open a terminal here, clone the project. In case you are not familiar with JIT, download the, the product using uh, the zipper chain provided by GitHub. Once the sources are uh, downloaded in your uh, in your environment, uh, open the, um, the folder. Um, Analyze the files, and uh, um, in order to start it, just uh, execute the, the Docker Composer command. This will uh, execute all the all the necessary steps required to um, to build the application, install the modules, migrate the database, and start application. Uh, in case you prefer the manual build, um, just uh, take a look at the at the readme, or go to the official documentation of the project where the the, the usage is explained in um, in uh, in detail. You have some uh, information regarding the design, what the environment you need to in order to use the product, how to start application in the Docker. Uh, using Docker layer, the manual build for uh, different platforms like uh, US, Mac OS, and, and Windows, how to manage the application users, and all other uh, information that are usually required to, to use the product. Uh, once the Docker Composer command fi is finished, you can uh, access the, the application in the browser. Let's do this and uh, Check out the, the status. Okay, so by default, the application uh, redirects the guest users to to the login page. An important fact is that uh, the the app is not shipped with any default user, so uh, you need to create a new one. Let's do this. Okay, if the registration is successful, you will be notified by the application. Okay, if the um, sign-in is successful, you should be able to access the private pages and uh, use the product. So, uh, uh, let us know what you think about the product. In case you, you want to customize the... Um, uh, the product with more things just uh, access here the material kit generator is the tool that we use uh, to, to generate and to uh, provide new version of the product you can choose the backend version the backend uh, the, uh, the backend framework here in this step in case you go for flask you can uh, choose uh, you can select the database type for your project, the deployment layer. The same thing goes for uh, is provided for Django. 
So guys, thanks for watching. Let us know uh, if you have issues uh, using the product. Uh, we are 24-7 on Discord. Let us know what you think. And uh, see you all on the, our next video. Bye.